This second video will help you get started using AutoCAD. The first thing we'll look at is the idea of opening a drawing. We can go to the application menu and select open. We can also see recent documents that we've opened and open them here quickly. Or we can just click on the open icon on the quick access toolbar. So when we do that, we can browse to a location where our drawings are. We select it. We see a preview of it. If our drawings are stored in the cloud via Autodesk 360, we can click the Autodesk 360 icon to be quickly taken to that area. We need to have been previously signed in to Autodesk 360 within Autodesk. You can do that in the upper right here where it says sign in. You can see the first lesson in the book on Autodesk 360 introduction for more on that. It's highly recommended that you save your files in the cloud so that they get backed up and you can access them from home, work, or if you're in school, any computer in the lab. So here's a drawing we're going to select. We see a preview for it. We hit open and now the drawing is open. We can see the tabs up here show us the different files that are currently open and we can switch quickly between the files using these tabs. If we spin our wheel on the mouse we can zoom in on the drawing that we currently have open. AutoCAD is a little different than some other programs that allow you to zoom in like that in that the area under the cursor is where AutoCAD zooms into. So you can see now the lower left portion of the floor plan ran off the screen. So I spin my wheel the other way and I zoom out. But if I wanted to look at an area down here by the garage and this person door, I spin the wheel and it zooms in. Now the upper right portion of the drawing has gone off the screen. If you double click the wheel on your mouse, it'll zoom extents. You can also click the Zoom Extents icon over here on the navigation bar. When we want to close a drawing, we can just simply click the X here or here. And if we have made changes to the drawing, we'll be prompted to save those changes before closing. If you don't want to save the changes, you click No. If you do, you click Yes. To save a drawing while you're working on it, you click the Save icon on the quick access toolbar. You could also press Control S on the keyboard. AutoCAD does an autosave every so often. If your program unexpectedly crashes, you can get at the autosave drawing and when you open AutoCAD again it'll show you options for that. You can also go into Options and on the Files tab automatic save location. This is where the drawing will be saved. It should be pointed out that if AutoCAD closes properly, all the autosave drawings are deleted so that your computer hard drive does not get full. To create a new drawing, we can click the new icon on the quick access toolbar or go to the application menu and select the new flyout and here you have one extra option. You notice this is a split button or we could just click the first part of this and it brings us directly to the path where the AutoCAD template files are saved. From here we see several templates that we could use to start our drawing. These templates have various settings preset in them such as dimension styles, that might be more appropriate for manufacturing versus architectural. Then we also have some civil type drawing templates. The template that you're going to use in this textbook is going to be in this sheet sets folder and it's going to be called architectural imperial. Imperial means feet and inches versus metric. We'll select architectural imperial .dwt and then we'll click open. So now we're in a new drawing. I'm using the pan 
by pushing down on the wheel button on the mouse, I can quickly pan around. Spinning the wheel, I zoom in and out. By default, in this particular drawing, that based on the template we started from, it put us in the paper space or layout view. So we might want to click model space right away so that we're in the area where we typically do all our drawings. And that's it.